Hello, Yuzhar Lab here. As suggested by some fellow aquarists, let's do a test on dissolved oxygen in grass tanks. Some aquarists are concerned about the oxygen level may run too low at night. Because the photosynthesis aquatic lives, who produce oxygen under proper lighting, would become net consumers of oxygen in low light condition, combined with the oxygen level drop caused by nighttime air pressure change. The fishes and shrimps may experience hypoxia. The weather outside the lab is, well, not so good today. Foggy weather often leads to low air pressure and thus lower oxygen level, which happened to be suitable for this experiment. We tested and recorded the dissolved oxygen level in the experimental and the control tank every half hour to observe how the respiration of aquatic plants may affect the dissolved oxygen level in the water. We shall see if the fishes and shrimps may catch hypoxia after the light is turned off. The grass tank has been running well before this test. The size is 60 centimeters or 23.6 inches in length, 30 centimeters or 11.8 inches in width and height, with a blank tank of the same size as control group. First, we sink the water temperature of these two tanks, then transplant one of the two canister filter that has been running in the grass tank for two weeks to the control tank so that we could also sink nitrification bacteria's oxygen demand. We got a variety of plants in the tank. Bulbitis, Ludwigia, Rotala, Microsuim, Hygrophila, Moss. A total of 20 to 30 aquatic plants. Also 10 neon tetra, as testing fish. To measure the effect of aquatic plants alone, fishes did not enter until next morning. The experiment is expected to take 12 hours from 9 p.m to 9 a.m. of the next day. Every half hour, we measured both the tanks for dissolved oxygen level and water temperature, and also the air pressure around. The lighting of grass tank was turned off at 11 p.m. Then let's see how it compares to the blank control group, especially for the difference in dissolved oxygen level. As usual, you like, subscribe and forward and leave the testing workload to us. Let's jump to the result. Initial dissolved oxygen value in the grass tank was 7.47 milligrams per litre. The water temperature was 26.8 degrees Celsius or 80.24 Fahrenheit. In the control tank, it was 7.93 milligrams per litre. The water temperature was 25.6 Celsius and the air pressure at this time was 1017.9 hectopascal or 14.76 pounds per square inches. Lower temperature helped the control tank achieving higher oxygen level. Half an hour later, as the water temperature rising, the dissolved oxygen in the water in the control tank dropped to 7.89 milligrams per litre. In the four sets of data before turning off the lights, due to temperature difference, the dissolved oxygen in the experimental tank is about 10% lower. And as expected, the dissolved oxygen level in experimental tank dropped rapidly since 11 p.m. when the lights were turned off at 11 and half p.m. It had dropped by about 2.7% to 7 mg per litre. Dissolved oxygen in the control tank water was 7.82 mg per litre. Only a 0.07% decrease hardly changed. The next half hour, experimental group further leveled down to 6.81 mg per litre. Another 2.7% drop. So, within an hour of turning off the lights, the dissolved oxygen in the experimental tank water decreased by 5.4%. That was the steepest drop over the course of the experiment, indicating that the dissolved oxygen level drop after losing light source may not be a linear process. On the other fin, the value only dropped by about 2.3% in the control tank. Then, the level of dissolved oxygen in the experimental tank continued to drop at a rate of 2.5% to 4.9% per hour. Compared to the experimental tank, the drop in control tank was rather moderate. The speed of dissolved oxygen level dropping in the experimental tank are also relatively moderated in 3 to 4 a.m. and 6 to 7 a.m. when the tank got some dim light. At a rate of approximately 2.5%, the minimum level was taken at 7.30 a.m., which was only 5.3 mg per litre, a 26% drop compared to the 7.2 mg per litre figure taken when the lights are turned off at 23 o'clock it is worth mentioning that from 7 a.m. in the morning until 8 o'clock, whether it was in the experimental or the control tank, dissolved oxygen level raised rather rapidly, a 0.18 mg per litre rise in the experimental tank, reaching 5.48 mg per litre 
a 3.4% increase, a 0.31 mg per litre rise in the control tank, reaching 7.87 mg per litre, a 4.1% increase. As you can see, in terms of either volume or portion increase, rising rate of dissolved oxygen in experimental tank water was lower than that of the control group. So we can infer that under poor light conditions like this, oxygen consumption of aquatic plants are still handicapping the comeback of dissolved oxygen level. The next set of data, taken from 8.30 to 9.30 a.m., also confirmed our conjecture. Judging from the datasheet, with the dissolved oxygen in the control tank water already stabilized. The dissolved oxygen level in the experimental tank began dropping again when fishes were added. Only later time that day, on 10 a.m., the tested dissolved oxygen level was finally stabilized in both tanks. In this half hour, the figure barely changed compared to the case half an hour before. This indicates that, for the weather and lighting conditions this day, Photosynthesis and respiration in an experimental tank reached a balance at around 9.30. This result, combined with local sunrise time, might be a hint on when the dissolved oxygen level in the water may be stabilized after the sunrise. If you agree with the methodology in this test, please tell this to the aquarists around. For the hypoxia issue of fish and shrimp in the tank, we've listed the recorded dissolved oxygen level throughout the night into this table. You can compare the minimum level to the minimum oxygen demand of the species living in the tank and take measures when needed. For instance, to extend the lighting time or add an air pump or reduce density. Please subscribe for more aquarium insights and goodies. Thanks for watching. See you next time.